Before we get started, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell icon. Hello everyone, this is Sandeep from Tutorial Brain and in the last video lesson, we have already seen how we can use brackets code editor for coding PHP. Now, when we used PHP, we had installed a local web server and on top of that, we had used PHP, right? Now, let us see some important extensions which you can add in brackets so that it will increase the performance of brackets. So let's go to extension manager and the first extension which I'm just going to show you is quick docs PHP. All right, so just type here quick docs PHP. Okay, and this is the extension. So just install this and this extension will give you the PHP documentation. So if you don't know anything about a particular code, you just have to install this extension for the first time. And after installing this extension, you can just get the documentation of that particular code. For example, here, suppose you don't know what is echo. So here, just bring your cursor and just give control K. So if I just give control K, you see that it gives the documentation about this echo, right? Now, this control K is on Windows operating system. If you're working on Mac, you should give command K. If you're not aware about a particular code, or if you just want to refer that code once again, you can just give control K while you bring your cursor on that particular code, right? So you can just close this, or if I just give uh, control K again, and you see that just give escape to come out. So if I just press escape in my keyboard, it will come to the normal session, right? So this is a very good extension. Now the next extension, which I just want to show you is indentator. So what this extension will do is, it will try to re-indent the PHP code based on the indentation settings which you have. So I'll just search here indentator and this is the extension. I'll just install this and this is successful. And let me just close this. And suppose this code looks very messy. For example, if the code is like this, right? So what you have to do is you just have to give control alt I. So just give control alt I and you see that the code is indented properly. Now let me just give control Z to undo the changes. And the other way to do this is you just have to go to edit and you have to just go to indent document, right? So this is the option. So using this option as well, you can indent the code, but I always prefer the shortcut. So please remember the shortcut is control alt I through which you can indent the PHP code. Now, uh, suppose I have another folder. Let's take another folder. For example, let's take this brackets PHP. And say this is a big file, right? So this is a quite big file. And say here the code is totally messed up and say it looks very different, looks very ugly, right? Now, if I just give control alt I, you see that the code is indented properly. So let me just give control Z to see the previous change. And you can compare this with the new change. So I mean, it's not a change. It's just the way the code is indented, right? So let me just give control Z. And you see that this is how the code looks messy at this point. And if I just give control alt I, now the code looks proper, right? So this is how you can just use this particular extension as well. Now the next extension which I want to show you is PHP Smart Hints. So I'll just type here PHP Smart Hints. Now what this will do is it will just give the hinting mechanism. It will just provide an hinting mechanism. So you can just use this extension to get some hints, right? So let me just install this. Let me just close this. Now, what I mean is, let's say if I just write here echo, you see that if I just type EC, it has given me a hint that you can just click this on echo. Or if I just give, for example, say, you see, if I just give FUNC, it has given me a lot of other 
uh, hints for example I can select this or this or this or this right so if I just give a few in C you see that now if I just give uh, F it has given me a lot of options and you can select anything out of these so say if I just select this open you see that it is very useful right because it gives you like a drop down from which you can just select your particular option so this is also a very good uh, extension or plugin and the next extension which I want to show you is PHP code quality tools now this is a tool that gives you a feature of PHP linting so if I just give here PHP code quality tools right so I'll just click on install and let me just close it so this way you can just uh, install this so basically this tool will analyze your PHP code and it will give you the linting mechanism now it is very important that before you use this tool you should install PHP so let me just go to more info and I'll just show you about this particular extension so that you can refer here because I'm not going to install PHP on my machine because I'm already using a local web server but in case if you want to use this tool you have to follow the step that is you have to install PHP right so you just see here how you can install anyways it is very easy to install but before using this extension you have to install PHP on your machine so here the requirements you can just note it down so PHP must be installed on your machine so if you have PHP installed in your machine then you can use this extension but I don't require this extension at this moment and I'm using a local web server so I don't want to install PHP uh, but in case if you need this extension I just wanted to show you that you have to install PHP all right now if you need any details about uh, brackets PHP you can just go to tutorial brain you can just go to tutorial brain and here uh, you can just click on this uh, brackets tutorial and you have all the details here that is brackets PHP so you can just check the details here so I hope you found this video useful so thanks again for connecting and I'll see you in the next video lesson leave a comment below if you have any question I will try to answer it so thanks for watching it make sure you like comment and subscribe Take care. Bye.